Hey, hi guys, welcome to another video. This is Rujan from Tasty Tech Harbor. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how I made the internal component of a laptop to external uh, devices. Here you can see I'm just removing the hard drive that is a SSD from a scrap laptop and also I'll be taking out the CD drive or the DVD drive which I can use it externally for my laptops. Nowadays these laptop latest laptop doesn't come with a DVD drive. I don't know these devices will work or not as it's from a scrap laptop but let's see how to make it portable. The hard disk which I removed from that laptop is an SSD of 128 GB. This hard disk is similar to any typical 2.5 inches SSD because this has SAT interface as well as a power connector. The wider one is the power connector. Coming to the SATA, SATA is nothing but the Serial AT attachment. This was developed by a Serial ATA international organization in 2000. There are different kind of SSD which are used in industry for different purpose like MSAT SSD and M2 SSDs and etc. Basically what I wanted to do is convert these uh, internal drives or the device component which is present in the laptop into a external or a portable device. So as you know before I told you that these drives, the DVD drive doesn't come uh, in the latest laptop. So basically what you need to convert these components in from internal to external is a cable which has respective ports as of these components to a USB. So now let's see the converter for the SSD. So I bought a converter with an enclosure. So this is what you get inside the box. So here we have a manual. So how you have to insert the hard drive to it. And here you have the case. So the case has a converter as you can see the black PCB which you can see is the converter. So I have mentioned the link for this product in the description below. So this product comes with a cable which has a micro B you can see. And the other side will be a USB 3 port. To open the enclosure, you just have to slide the one side of the glass. So coming into the other things uh, which is there in the box, as I told you, this comes with a cable which has USB to a micro B cable. So now let's see how it can be assembled. So now we have finally assembled the hard drive into the external casing. So now let's connect it to the laptop and check its performance and how it works. After I have connected the hard drive, the external drive to the laptop through via USB, I don't see any icon to access the hard drive files. So I guess there is some problem with the assigning of the letter to the hard drive or else uh, we need to just format the hard drive and check. So as now I can see there is the hard drive detection in the laptop. So let me just navigate to the device manager and to the disk management section. So as when I navigated so I can see the hard drive is detected but uh, it is functional and it is formatted to a uh, primary partition. But let me for reformat it again and assign a letter to it. So here I'm using a Windows as an operating system. So here I get NTFS, FAT32 and XFAT option for formatting. Here I'm formatting through NTFS. Uh, don't think always that the NTFS formatting is for primary drive which contains OS. But NTFS is also a good choice for the ex external drive because it is compatible with wide range of devices. And NTFS is your best bet if you want to transfer a large files. Because if you want to play a movie on your TV from a USB stick, it is always better to have NTFS. And NTFS allows you to set advanced permissions. So finally I reformatted the drive and set a letter to it. So hence we got the detection of the hard drive and I am able to access the files inside the hard drive. So coming into the performance of the SSD uh, with the external case. So I had copied a large file. So now we can see the transfer rate is around 300 Mbps. Yes, the hard SSD is working fine. So here comes the DVD drive which I took out from the laptop. And uh, so firstly we need to check this uh, whether it's working fine or not. So here we have uh, a port which has, which has to be converted to a USB port for us to use it via laptop. 
So this is called a slim SATA cable and uh, you need a slim SATA to USB converter. So hence I bought a converter cable uh, from Amazon. Link for the product is in the description. So you can just connect the slim SATA cable to the internal uh, the DVD drive and the other side the USB to the laptop. And now let's get into the laptop and see how it works. So once I connected the USB yeah so it got the detection of the drive and you can see the dvd drive is active so it just plug and play it works fine so now let's check by inserting a cd whether it can read the data inside it or not yeah so here i have inserted the disc so let me just wait for it to get detected yeah, so the CD is detected. So let me just check whether I can read the data inside it. Yes, I can also read the data inside it. So here I have uh, two devices from a scrap laptop. So finally, I would request you guys to reduce e-waste by repairing, reusing and recycling these equipments. Thank you guys for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.